Hi everyone, and welcome to AutoCAD. My name is Ari, and I'm an AutoCAD professional with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn how to convert our DWGs into DGNs for MicroStation. We can easily convert our DWGs into DGN files that are compatible with MicroStation by clicking on the big red A button on the upper left, and then going to Export. You can just mouse over it, you don't need to click on it. And then we have DGN as one of the options, and here it is. So now we'll have this dialog open. It's going to ask us to essentially name our DGN file. Now you could give it the same name because it is a different file extension. It is a DGN, not a DWG, but I'd like to rename my files just in case. So I'm gonna type underscore converted to DGN. And I'll just put it right here in my Autodesk folder. Actually my AutoCAD folder to be more specific. So let's save it right there. Now we have the DGN dialog. Let's look at this starting on the upper left. Here, we have the option now to essentially translate our references. Now, what does this mean? All this really means is, do we want to overwrite any references or files that already exist wherever we save this drawing? So you can see my uh, file path right here. If I was to save my drawing in that file path, if there were files that were the same name, I could overwrite them without prompting. And this used to be the case in older versions of AutoCAD. Instead, I like to really prompt when overwriting. It's really, really safe. That way, if you do overwrite a file, you're not going to. You have the chance to rename it. And that way, any older files will be there just in case. You never want to lose your working files. So we're going to leave it at prompt. And the other two options are interesting. We could essentially bind all the references into one DGN file. So instead of having separate uh, XREFs from CAD that are kind of XREFs as DGNs, in D DGNs, they're, they're, they don't really have any XREFs, but it's a similar concept. Instead of that, you could essentially combine them all into one file. So this second option could be useful and it could be a little simpler to use. But I think that using the DWG references into separate DGN files might be safer to do, especially if you're used to using your XREFs separately in MicroStation. Or if you don't want to include any of your external references, you can simply ignore them by clicking on the third option here. Now let's go to this next option. We have the option to export our DGN underlays as DGN references. Now, if you use MicroStation, you'll know more about what this means, but essentially you have the option to do this right here if you need to. Then we can go to specified seed file and seeds in DGNs are very similar to DW or uh, XREFs, excuse me. So you essentially have the option to specify the seed file here. If I click on this button right here, I can actually use different kinds of seeds that are available from AutoCAD itself. AutoCAD actually has some DGN templates, so to speak. That's essentially what a seed really is. So in the AutoCAD template file, we have some of these right here, and you can choose them based on the kind of files you're working with. So, And the other option is very interesting. We could use feet, which is very commonly used in AutoCAD, but we could instead use the subunits of inches that are more common in DGN. So we can switch between them here very easily. Now let's look at the next set of settings in this dialog. This next part of the dialog is quite interesting because now we can translate our DWG properties into DGN properties. And a lot of the properties are actually quite similar amongst both DWGs and DGNs. We can see here that our layers from DWG can translate as the same names for DGN. We also have similar line types and line weights, for example. Now you can see here that in DGN, we don't have by layer or by block. Instead, we have by level and by cell, which are a bit different. Then we can go to color, for example. And if there aren't any colors, in this case, there aren't any special colors in our mapping setup, then basically there is nothing here. But this is good that we clicked on this because it's telling us to click on the mapping settings right here. So let's do that right now. Here in the mapping settings, we essentially have a standard setting that is what we saw just now. So the standard setting just takes whatever default information we have in our DWG, and that's great. But if we need more information and we don't see it there, we can click on new and we can bring in more info. Now we can give this a name. So I'm just gonna call this custom settings. And then we can click on based on, and this allows us to essentially create a copy of our standard settings. So all of our settings will always be based on something and that's fine. We must make a copy of something to have a start. Then our mapping type must be export for now. We aren't really able to import anything yet. So we can just click on export and then click on continue. 
now that we're here, we can see similar information that we saw over here on the right side. And what we can do is, is we can switch between them. And then the special part of this are these two buttons right here. So we can add certain properties from our file. We can also add properties from a DGN file itself. So if we have an existing DGN file, we can actually bring in information from it by clicking on this button here. Now, I don't have MicroStation. I actually have never worked with MicroStation before, so I don't really have any DGN files to work with this time. But if I had another drawing file, I can click on this and I can essentially bring in another CAD drawing and I can bring in information from it and include it in our export from this specific file. So besides that, we can also give a description for our setup right here. So that way we can understand what differences we've made from the typical standard template. And so we're just going to leave this as is. I just wanted to describe this to you all. More than likely, you don't really have to use this because all the information you need is more than likely already in your drawing. Because if you make layers for your drawing, for example, I've made these four layers right here, they're going to automatically be in this list. So now we know how that works. And when we're ready, we can click on OK and our file is essentially going to convert. Now let's do so. Let's see what happens when we do that. And that's it. The process is done. If we open up a folder in our computer, let's look really quickly and see what we've got. We can essentially see that our file is, let's see if we can find that DGN file. Let's search by date modified. There it is. So now we have a DGN file right here. Because I have AutoCAD as my default program, it still shows the AutoCAD symbol here. But the file type is DGN, and this is definitely compatible with MicroStation. Now let's minimize this folder. And let's get back to the drawing. Thanks very much for watching our tutorial on how to convert a DWG into a DGN. Once again, my name is Ari and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.